say hi if you are a web developer or or else you are building a web application then it is essential to know the inbuilt methods of console in javascript uh, everybody are familiar with this console.log but there are other methods which are quite helpful so uh, let's see each one with an example um, i'll provide this link in the description you can check it out later uh, everybody knows this console.log uh, actually console is just an, uh, a javascript object uh, for the people who don't know so when you want to log anything uh, so you can do this uh, just console.log this is just an example a general example let's see the output uh, this is a browser uh, console uh, you can open it through control shift and k and for the sum of the browsers uh, it is control shift i okay and let's see the next one console.error uh, why a function and let's it five Console okay. uh, const a equal to 10 and we want to implement this with another thing. Okay. So let's see console dot log of a so that we need to call this function. See, this is the way of throwing an error in the console dot error uh, because if you are also logging the particular exception using console dot log, you cannot make it partition. So, to make it partition, it is better to use the console error. And let's see the other example it's console var. Okay. I'm gonna remove this. Console one is just a showing a warning message. Let's uh, one. This is one message. See. It's just a showing a kind of like a warning message which uh, which uh, JavaScript mostly shows uh, for the kind of plugins and the other is and this is the best method I have ever come across because uh, when you're working on a large applications or large web applications um, you will have to get the large amount of data from the backend in the form of objects. So, even you are logging through console.log, it is very tough to know for the which key, which value. So, it is best to use a console.table. I'll show you. Uh, a function required. I'll take this employee ID, employee name, because that I have the code, employee ID, employee name, and this dot, employee equals ID. Let's take it as an object. And the path ideas one, two, three, and name as 
uh, you can't and see just do a console dot table of emp object so let's see we just have created a simple object you, you can return the number of objects uh, coming from your backend but i just return a simple object okay and doing a console dot table we'll see what the output is see it is the coolest way of you know showing the values along with the uh, key so you can have number of uh, objects coming in the from the back end and uh, console dot table function can be used on array of objects array of arrays and, uh, let's see the next it's console dot clear yeah let's clear this and uh, write a function var equals and this gonna do console dot clear console dot clear is just a function uh, which clears your console on the request see if you gonna delete the logs in the console you could hang your browser so you can do it through this method so i'm gonna call this two here and I tell this clear clear console. Let's see here. Okay. Oh. First of all, we need to log something. So then only we can delete. Isn't it? Log one. I have number of logs. What we are doing is we are first logging the consoles with different values and then we are clearing with the button click. Let's see. These are the logs which we have uh, given here. Okay. And now we have cleared the logs. So we can do it through this console.clear function and yeah there are also other methods like console.count and console.time time end and so on so these are not much required but these are the basic methods uh, you know which is which will be helpful in uh, day to day development process so Thanks for watching.